He's been breaking for 10 years straight. So you know he's here to stay. Salute, my friends. The energy is a thriller. All right, guys. So I actually uh, owe some personals of Alan Ginter Chrome, and I need to do them because I owe them, and it's only fair. Uh, Moss Town's here live, so I think we'll start with Moss Town. Uh, she's got two, um, and then I've got Mark Aram's got two, and then uh, Bases Loaded has one. I thought we did eight or ten that day, but I only found those payments. So I think maybe people said they'd do them, and then. You know just didn't pay so it's not a big deal it's just I was worried I was missing a bunch and I'm not <laughs> so I need to do these five boxes real quick um, and then we're gonna go straight to Bowman draft I'm gonna do the uh, I'm gonna keep going with the 20 case um, pre-sales uh, because um, you know my my cases they lost the truck and uh, it's just been an absolute disaster. But I have 20 cases. Two I've got earmarked for the 20 caser. Um, so that means I can do 18. <laughs> Bo Bichette, Moss Town. Roger Clemens, Refractor. I can do 18 of the... Um, the... Uh, Pre-sales. Um, Blowout said that if, if the truck isn't here tomorrow, they're going to overnight me cases which is just a disaster for them you know i mean it's bad for us because you know we don't, we don't have our cases but you know blowout's gonna cover it so they're really upset <laughs> they're really upset i mean we're upset they're just besides themselves because you know that's like a four hundred thousand dollar truck you know 400 grand oh wow moss down what is it with Moss Town, bro? It's not fair. Everybody's going to be like, you're doing this on purpose. You haven't seen it yet, but your other personal you did with me was really good. Uh, the Bowman Draft. So, blame Angry Cake. He's still... Uh, um, he, ha <laughs> he hasn't finished it yet. So, Man, that looks good in red. No. No, nothing on the truck. Um, nothing at all. I don't, you know, I just, I don't even know what to do about it, to be honest with you. Um, that is a really nice card, Moss Down. So, congratulations for that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's not even fair, to be honest with you. It's not fair. It's not right. Yeah, he's going to be in the Hall of Fame, is my opinion. Uh, Votto is going to be. Uh, he's having a Hall of Fame career. I mean, he's he's damn good. All right, anyway. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Moss Town, three of five. Justin Verlander. Um, even though he was on the cheating... Uh, Trash cans. I think he's going to be a Hall of Famer too. I think if uh, I think uh, Verlander is probably one of the closest things to a shoe in you can get. And you know, in my opinion, uh, I think you're looking. I think you're looking pretty good. <laughs> a couple of red Hall of Famers is my opinion. Jake, we're not friends. You know, I'm trying to help you. I really am. You know, it's funny. I'm not even sure I could afford it. <laughs> I'm not even sure I could afford it. Bregman's a cheater. I'm not going to eat him, though, because he's yours. Sandy Koufax. Eloy Jimenez. <laughs> you know, Mark's got two coming up, too. Uh, Gold Carl Yastrzemski. Very nice. Yeah, it's 45 out of 50. I really like these. I haven't opened these in a while. It seems like a while. It was probably just a few days ago, but... 
You know, everything's been crazy. <laughs> bases loaded. Your your box is coming. Will Smith. So I've got bases loaded, Mark Aram, and Moss Town. And that's all I found. So if you bought a box, um, let me know because I, I didn't I didn't find any other payments. Um I was waiting for you to get a super fractor in here too. <laughs> hey, that's cool, man. That's cool. Willie Mays. Luis Robert rookie. Nice card. And last pack, box one. Um, you know they were still cheating in 2019, right? I'm willing to agree with your statement that he wasn't there in 2017 as long as you're willing to agree with my statement and the statement of several teams, including the Rays, who say they were still cheating in 2019. So based on all of that, yes, you're right. He wasn't there in the beginning. But he was still there in 19, and they were still cheating. So that's all I've got to say about that. No, I actually <laughs> no, I actually slide the chrome um, on my sh the shoulder of my shirt um, ever so gently. Just only I only do it if I see um, something on the card. And these are really dusty. These cards are really dirty. Um, so I take the card, and you guys can't see it because it goes off screen. But I just slide it over my shoulder, real, real soft, like. And uh, that's the end of that. Yep, I hate him. Fernando Tatis. Cheater! Yeah, man, the Rays, specifically the Rays, but, you know, not just the Rays, say that they were still cheating in, in the 2019 postseason. They say don't believe it. I've actually talked to a Rays player who was playing and told me, Unequivocally, that yes, they were cheating. Baseball just trying to limit it, you know, trying to limit the backlash and not say that they kept cheating. Because there was no way to hide what they were doing, you know, there was no way to hide it. But once they went away from the, uh, the uh, trash cans, um, but they said they were still, they were still cheating. Whistling, all kinds of stuff. Aquino Refractor. Um, Moss Down, this is your second box. So, <laughs> eat them. <laughs> I got you. Tony Gwynn. Yep. Yeah, there's an article um, about it. But um, basically, they were told to just shut up about it, you know, and that it was over. That's what they were told. That's what players were told. Just shut up. You know, it's not going to change anything. All you're going to do is make more trouble. Just shut up about it. So that's basically what's happened. Nico Horner, but um, Brantley was on that team. Um, so there it is. When I was a young warthog, that's all we can do. Can't do anything else. Disney will get my ass. <laughs> we do any more. Marcus Semien. It looks good. Looks good in green. <laughs> it's dangerous. Um, you know, it it would for me. Back to back Lou Gehrig minis. It would for me. Uh, I wouldn't put any of those scumbags in. I really wouldn't. Um, you know, I would let the rookies go, like uh, Kyle Tucker. To Alvarez, I wouldn't, you know, Abraham Toro. I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about that because I, I just don't think there's anything they could have done, you know, as a rookie, um, without destroying their career and you know not being able to support their fan. You know what I mean? I just the rookies, I give them 100% complete pass. Um, Kyle Tucker on down, but uh, and the pitchers, you know, I mean, I I get it. Uh, Phil Hughes has actually talked about it, that there's really nothing the pitchers could have done. And while they did benefit from having more runs scored, you know, they weren't 
the pitchers weren't cheating. They were benefiting from the cheating, which isn't much of a distinction, but it is a distinction, and I'm going to go ahead and give it to him. Uh, Grinky, speaking of the devil, you know, so, eh. But um, Correa, Altuve, Bregman, I'd never put a single one of them, never, not one of them would I put in the Hall of Fame. But, you know, there it is. It's it's from somebody that's kind of bitter, you know. I'm kind of bitter <laughs> about the whole thing. Because one, one of the main reasons that I'm bitter is I was so excited when they won the 17 World Series. I really was. Um, while I wanted, uh, for baseball card reasons, I wanted um, uh, uh, Aaron Judge to win uh, the MVP. I thought he deserved it. But when Altuve won it, you know, it wasn't the guy I wanted to win, but I supported it. I understood it. You know, I certainly wouldn't take it away from him at the time. But then to find out they were cheating, bro. I mean, they, you know, they beat the Rays. Uh, and that I take that personal. You know, I am a Rays fan. And, uh, you know, to know that they cheated to beat the Rays, it just, the whole thing just bothers me. And the fact that I was so happy for them, you know, so happy for that team, uh, just makes it that much worse, you know. I, I almost feel like personally betrayed. <laughs> you know what I mean? So people are like, you know, let it go, let it go. I'm not, I'll be talking about this in 10 years, I'm telling you. Moss Town, congratulations. Nice red auto, uh, a nice red Justin Verlander. And <clears throat> moving on to Mark's box. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit that bell for notifications. If you enjoyed what you watched, smash the like button. And if you're looking for a great group break, remember. Oh my He's gosh. been breaking for 10 years straight. Who knows what he'll yes. pull yes. today. This has been a production of CFB-TV.